Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about string variables and methods in dart programming so as you can see these are some of the formats of the string variables so let us check this with the help of examples so over here what i will do is let's say we have a variable that is a string and then we can either use these single quotes this is a string semicolon and let's print this I'll save this file and try running this code. Let me clear the screen. So as you can see, this is a string is printed. Now what we will do is instead of the single quotes, we can also use this double quotes over here. So I'll provide double quotes. I'll save this file and try running this code. So there should be no change in the execution. So as you can see, the same string is printed. This is a string. So guys, you can either use a single quotes or double quotes over here. Let us understand some more formats. So as you can see, three times we are using single quotes over here and three times we are using double quotes over here. But this is a multi line string. So guys, we can also use these single quotes three times in order to provide multiple lines of strings. So I'll put three quotes over here, but I'll change this to a new line. So what I'm doing is this is a and then the string it goes in the next line. So I'll save this file and try running this code. So as you can see, this is a string. So this is getting printed over here. Now why this space is there? This is because in the code itself, we have provided spaces over here. So we can remove this space. I'll save this and try running this again. So as you can see, this is a and then the string it goes in the next line. And then the same thing we can do with the double quotes as well. Three times we can provide the double quotes at the start and at the end. And I will do the A part that is this is and then in the next line A and then the next line it is string. I'll save this and run this code. So as you can see, this is a string. So guys, what is happening over here is in the multi line string, it is following the format in which we are giving it to the string. So this same thing cannot be done with a single single quote or a double quote. So I'll provide a single double quote over here. I'll save this and try running this. So as you can see, it is throwing an error saying that expected semicolon over here. So guys, the same thing we cannot do it with a single single quote or a double quote. So we have to provide three times a single quote or a double quote if we are providing the entire string in multiple lines. Now guys, let us understand what are the different methods that we can use in the string. So as you can see, the very first property is length. So as you can see, this is a string. Let's say if we want to count the number of characters in a string. So what we can do is we can use the length property. So instead of this, I will provide the length of string is dollar and then inside the curly braces, it is string dot length. Let's save this file and try running this code. I'll clear the screen. So as you can see, the length of string is 16. So let us try counting this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So guys, the exact number of characters you can get using this length property. Let us move to another method. As you can see, to lowercase, this will convert all the characters in the string to lowercase. So let us understand this with the help of examples. Let's say we have the uppercase characters over here. This is and then the string. So some of the characters are uppercase. So I want to change it to lowercase. So what I will do is I can provide to lowercase method. I'll save this file and try running this code. So as you can see, the length of string is this is a string. So I'll, I'll remove this. So I'll just provide the two lowercase method and I'll also have to remove the dollar sign as well and the curly braces as well. So what we are doing is we are just taking the string and using the two lowercase. I'll save this file and try running this code. So as you can see, all the characters are lowercase now. Let us move to another method to uppercase, which is the opposite of two lowercase. So this will convert all the characters in this string to uppercase. So instead of two lowercase, what I will do is I will just change this to uppercase. I'll save this and run this code. 
So as you can see, all the characters are changed to uppercase. Let us move to another method. So as you can see, we have trim, which will return the string without any leading and trailing white spaces. So guys, what we will do over here is we will just provide a string value over here and over here we will provide some leading spaces and then ending with some spaces as well. I'll save this and try running this code. So as you can see, there are some spaces over here, leading spaces, and there are some trailing spaces over here, which is not visible for now right now. So what if we want to remove these spaces from the start and the end? So what we can do is we can use the trim method as explained. So we can use dot trim and then followed by open and close brackets. It doesn't take any parameters. Let's save this file and try running this code. So as you can see, this is a string. We are getting it printed without any leading and trailing spaces. Let us move to another method. As you can see, we have compare to method compares this object to another. So similarly, like how we checked in the previous video about the number method compare to the same way we can use the compare to method over here as well. Guys, the next method is split, which splits the string at matches of a specified delimiter and returns a list of substring. So let us understand this with the help of example over here. What I will do is, let's say we have a variable string and then we have the same string that is, this is a string and then semicolon. All right. Now what we will do is we will have a variable which will be a list because we are going to separate all these words that are present in a statement using this space character. So as you can see, this is one space character before is and then after is we have another space character. So we can extract all these elements that is all these words using the split method. So let us understand how we can do that. So we will use the string variable followed by a dot and then we have the split function and then inside open and close brackets inside double quotes we can provide a delimiter as a space character and then followed by a semicolon and then what we will do is we will print this list so guys it should have the four elements that is this is a string it's because all these words will be separated by this space character i'll save this file and try running this code so as you can see, these all are present in a list. This is a string. The same thing we can do with some other delimiters as well. So let's say instead of the space character, we have exclamation mark over here. And then instead of the space character, we will provide the exclamation mark. I'll save this file and try running this code. So as you can see, again, with this exclamation mark as the delimiter, we can separate all those words in a string. And guys, in this way, it can be very helpful in competitive coding as well, whenever you are dealing with the split functionality of the string. So guys, let us see some more methods. So the next method is substring, which returns a substring of this string that extends from start index inclusive to end index that is exclusive. So let us understand this with the help of example. Let's say we have this variable string and then let's remove this exclamation mark and let's keep those space characters. So let's say we just want to extract this keyword from here. So what we will do is we will have another variable that is string one and then we will use this string that is the original string over here and then we will provide the substring method followed by this will take two parameters over here the very first thing will be the first character index that is zero so guys it is important to note that every strings index starts with the zero number so over here we will provide it as zero and then followed by what will be the end index so it will be zero one two three and then four so guys this fourth index we will provide it over here but it is not included so i'll provide four over here and then semicolon and then what we will do is print this new string that is string one. So I'll save this file and try running this code. Okay, so we have an error over here. So the correct method over here is sub string. So without any capital letter, I'll save this file and try running this code. So as you can see, this keyword is extracted from here. Let us say if I want to extract the I word from here as well. So instead of providing this end index as four, what I will do is four five and six till six the number i will have to provide the end index so i'll provide six i'll save this file and try running this code so as you can see this keyword followed by a space character and then i is getting extracted and in this way we can find out 
any substring from a particular string your start index can also be other than zero so not necessary that you start from the starting position but you can start from any of the positions in the string so guys the last method over here about the string is that is to string it returns a string representation of this object so basically let's say if you have an integer you can use this method in order to convert that integer to a string and then use it in the print statement as well so guys these methods you can practice on your own so that you learn more about it so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is boolean variables in dart programming so stay tuned